spectacular strips here just on its way home from work and since it's raining I thought I might just speak about riding your motorcycle in the rain maybe I don't know nice patches of diesel about just watch out for them keep a decent distance yes it's two seconds in the dry but in the wet it's a bit more yeah it's a bit more in the in the old wet they say four seconds four seconds behind uh, so one two three so yeah four seconds behind because obviously braking distances are going to be longer you don't have as much grip no matter what anybody says about motorcycles in the rain you do not have as much grip i have pilot road threes and they are brilliant in the wet but i do not trust them like i do in the dry and i'm creeping forwards again one two three seconds it need to be four seconds four seconds might seem a bit silly but if something up ahead happens i have four seconds worth of time to to react and to stop or to maneuver you know so it is safe to be four seconds behind or likewise if somebody pulls out on you because they're a blind knobhead uh you have four seconds to react to that that's safer especially in the wet another thing is lean angles like i said about tires they are not as good in the wet you cannot lean as much in the wet you're not a gp rider you're not valentino rossi it's better than this morning it was in the fog and i damn wish i had my camera on this morning i didn't i had it in my bag because i couldn't find the back hatch for it so i put it in my bag because the battery compartment and stuff was all exposed and i mean honestly you couldn't see five foot in front of you in this fog i wish i had it on video it was awesome could have done a vlog about riding in the fog don't do it simple answer i wish i hadn't i was kind of scared so ideally don't ride in the fog rain riding just take more care it's not as dangerous as people said it's not scary you're gonna get wet if you ain't got waterproofs on but it's it's not scary it's not scary at all to be honest if I mean as long as you're warm and you're dry even if you're wet actually as long as you're warm riding in the wet isn't too bad so always always stay warm on your bike no matter what the weather raining or not in the winter stay warm because if you are cold it will it will make it so much harder to ride your bike just like if you're soaked through from top to bottom you aren't going to enjoy your ride when you're braking in the wet take a bit more care normally in the dry and i mean in the dry you would use about 70 to 80 front front brake and the 30 to 20 rear brake in the wet you want to be approximately 50 50. you don't want to un unbalance your bike you don't want to start trying to do an endo in the wet because if you lose that little bit of traction on the front tire you're gonna just bury the front end into the ground likewise with the back tire you don't want to use too much but you want to use a bit more than normal i'd say there probably is a whole lot more that i could say but i've only been riding uh, since july july the 18th i believe so this is just some of the stuff that i've sort of learned while i've been riding and i thought i'd just share that with you guys while it's pissing down and that's about it thanks for watching you too oh and also white lines very slippery in the wet metal roads such as cat's eyes crossings they all have these little metal bits very slippery in the wet so yeah just try and avoid anything metal in the road i'll do that anyway drain covers especially they can be wet and they tend to be on corners and stuff so yeah watch out for drains cat's eyes and metal pieces and until next time i think that'll do see ya